Some consider him a medical genius and still extol his discoveries. But more people are surprised and cannot realize how a man could think of such atrocities against his own kind. Indeed, on the basis of Joseph Mengele's experiments and researches a lot of modern medicine, surgery and other branches of medical knowledge are built. But about how this knowledge and experience was obtained, many people tolerantly keep silent. The Nazis called him Angel of Death, the children of Auschwitz called him Uncle Doctor. This is Hauptsturmfuhrer SS, Doctor of Medical Sciences Joseph Mengele, who conducted terrible medical experiments and never faced justice. Joseph was born into a wealthy family, graduated from high school with honors and went to the University of Munich. Like many Germans, he blamed the Jews for Germany's troubles and joined the Nazis in 1933. He was fascinated by the search for evidence of the inferiority of inferior races, became a doctor of medicine, and his thesis topic was racial differences in the structure of the mandible. In 1938 Joseph Mengele joined the SS Medical Service. From 1941 to 1943 he was on the Eastern Front, wounded. On the 24th of May 1943 he was appointed doctor of the gypsy camp in Auschwitz. In August 1944, Mengele was appointed chief physician of the Birkenau camp in Auschwitz. At Auschwitz, Dr. Mengele was always neat and perfumed, his face beaming with happiness. Joseph had finally found what he wanted. The main focus of Mengele's work was the creation of a genetically pure Nordic race, the Leibniz-born program. Officially, Mengele held the position of doctor of the women's barracks. He had only one cure for contagious diseases, gas chambers. According to the Nazis, the ashes of burned people were excellent fodder for agricultural needs. The ashes were loaded onto railway wagons and transported throughout German territory. Afterwards, new prisoners were loaded onto these wagons and taken to Auschwitz. Like all Auschwitz doctors, Mengele met the echelons. The doctors distributed the streams of Jews, gypsies and Slavs from the wagons, some to the gas chamber and some to the barracks. Joseph was very keen and worked overtime. In two years, he sent 400 OOO people to their deaths, and he took twin children. He started by taking anthropometric measurements and comparing the twins' similarities and differences. After that, experiments were carried out. Without anesthesia, they transplanted organs from one twin to the other, infected them with various diseases. Why? All this was done in order to see the reaction of different organisms to any changes. In his laboratory, Dr. Mengele conducted inhumane medical experiments. What kind of experiments did he conduct? They were many in complexity. Among his operations and experiments were, splicing people's bodies together according to the principle of Siamese twins testing with radiation, including X-rays of insane strength, and much more. Other doctors worked alongside Mengele. Many of them were getting drunk. But Mengele loved his work. He had no psychological problems. His contemporaries said that Mengele as a scientist was interested in the possibilities of the human body, its limits and abilities. After his research no one survived, few children and teenagers survived thanks to the liberation of Auschwitz by the Soviet army in January 1945. During his 21 months at Auschwitz, Mengele earned the nickname Angel of Death for his delicacy and politeness. Mengele's sinister reputation was known far beyond Auschwitz. As the war drew to a close, he was one of the key targets for capture. In May 1945, Joseph Mengele was captured by the US, but was released as he was not on the Nazi lists. Joseph hid in the FRG until 1949 when he was able to take refuge in Argentina. There is a vast colony of Nazi criminals there. Mengele is well off and lives freely. He even traveled to Europe, where he met his family. He didn't stop what he was doing after his time in Argentina. Instead of treating people, he was performing clandestine abortions. Confirmed the classic stereotype that a doctor is a profession that will always provide a livelihood. Curiously, in the 50s of the last century, Mengele was not even particularly hidden, lived under his real name and surname. He even founded a pharmacological company in honor of himself. But everything changed in the 60s, when he was hunted by Israel's intelligence agency, the Mossad, which offered up to $1 million for information about the Auschwitz doctor. Curiously, 
The Mossad caught almost all the escaped Nazis, but Mengele constantly moved from place to place and he always managed to hide. The Israeli Mossad was never able to find him. The monster died in Brazil in 1979 of a stroke. Unfortunately, Joseph Mengele was among those supporters of the Nazi regime who managed to escape punishment for atrocities against humanity. And even now there are many of his followers and those who admire his research. By the way, interesting fact. 1998 a former prisoner of Auschwitz sued the German pharmaceutical company Bayer. The creators of aspirin were accused of using concentration camp prisoners during the war to test their sleeping pill. Judging by the fact that soon after the beginning of the approbation concern additionally acquired 150 more prisoners of Auschwitz, no one woke up after taking the new sleeping pills. Legend has it that Mengele was also involved because he also specialized in the experimentation of new drugs. But it is a legend, because no reliable document and fact confirming it has been preserved. Sometimes some doctors are so fascinated by the process of studying a living organism that they stop at nothing. With their insane acts, they strike fear and terror into the minds of ordinary people. This episode of the podcast is coming to an end, but don't hurry to leave because I still have a lot of interesting videos on my channel that you might have missed. Be sure to subscribe to the channel, if you haven't already, so you don't miss out on new videos.